the character. Wait, did you see that? That's oh. not Snake. We're talking about. We're talking about, about Charlie's pockets. That's like, that's, like a, that's like an AC's pockets. I have never seen. <laughs> so back in the day, AC was known for a Falco. He yeah. was known for having a Falco. And it's been quite some time since we've seen that character from AC. But I did not expect AC's pockets to actually pull out a fox, especially against Charlie. Yeah, this quite unexpected for me. All right, nonetheless here, AC is going to let it rock here, able to stop Charlie from getting up into that area with a couple up tilts. Good reaction to the side. He catches the nair on the way down. That's a down smash. It's actually not going to connect for Charlie, but oh. he is on top yeah. of this ledge. Good nair? Yeah. yeah. And that, that's air. good too, yeah. It's just so good that you can actually stop side B and up B. It makes sense for Charlie to just go out there and stick it out. Last thing hit box, the knockback altogether. Now, some of our newer generation of players oh. may not know that Charlie was... What a sequence! What a sequence! I'm speechless. <laughs> what I was going to say was Charlie was one of our best resident Fox mains in Smash 4. Even yeah. in the start of Ultimate, he was playing Fox, then found his calling on the wolf. Yeah. But he knows what this character does, and he is on top of it. Nothing is going to surprise him when it comes to wolf. And that, that, goes, back to what, that's go back, that goes back to what I said about Charlie. He is one of those players who will pick up a character just to see how good that character is. That is going to be the up and <laughs> What a two stock from Charlie up the against little, AC. The little T-pose frame as he's grabbing the <laughs> legend animation. But yeah, Charlie will pick up those characters. Like We've seen him play a little bit of Aegis because he wants to understand how the character works, the strikes, the weaknesses, all of that all around so he can understand when he does play against that character what he can do. And he did see how a player like Spargo came up and showed up with that character up against Larry. So going into game game number two here, Snake is going to be the character that comes out from AC. Uh, it's time to put the pocket fox away here and put up the real character for AC. Yeah, it is going to be that Snake. I don't know what AC's mindset was in that matchup here, but more to a man. He's the one here fighting for basic. He is in top eight, not me. Yeah, I like to think, you know, it wasn't necessarily a game you plan on winning. But if you want to learn a character, and maybe he's very serious about secondarying Fox for certain matchups, mm -hmm. then you got to be willing to at least take a loss to get some magic experience, you know? But after that game one, you know, he's still fighting for some money here and I fighting for some pride, some ranking, whatever it may be for. He wants to take this win, and his Snake is clearly his best character and going to be the most likely one to do it for. I do like that get-up option from Charlie. Just because the situation that AC had set up there was, do you want to interact with Grenade or do you want to interact with my option after your getup? Charlie puts out the getup attack, only has to worry about Grenade hitting him, and then he'll get away from anything that originally AC had set up. So that was a good risk-reward factor from Charlie. The, both hits the forward though here, giving AC the stage control, and then Nikita, but Charlie is so slick on that reflector button, man. He uses it for a combo, for a combo starter, for a combo finisher, for a combo extender. I like that. Charlie is being extra cautious on his return to center stage. He's looking to see how can I play this safely as possible without taking any unnecessary percent. Okay, double jump mix up here on AC to open up the shield. He's got stage control. He's looking. That was a wall space back air, just seeing how AC was going to hold shield there. So. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, like that was good for AC to understand. He might go for a reflector just given the fact that Nikita of where it is, but also Charlie understanding cool. Either I. Don't reflect this Nikita and I die, or AC gets a grab and I might have a chance to survive. And that's good for Charlie to understand that. Yeah, and I like the way Charlie went for that edge guard with the Nair, read the high recovery from AC, because that's just kind of textbook for Snake. Mm. Uh, but he wasn't able to chase it down. Unfortunately for AC, he misses the air dodge to the ledge, and Charlie is always prepared for that. On reaction, takes the stock with the forward air, and here we go with the combo. I told you, man, that reflector is the combo extender Yo, starter. Charlie, how much did you invest in build a bear? <laughs> <laughs> this man is definitely building his own combos as he goes to, but he's one of the players to be known well for it. Interesting side beyond to the stage. AC going to get at least an FTO punish. Yeah, and it's just because of the positioning for Charlie, but I think the one thing Charlie also knows is like, cool, if he does set up for something like the Napalm, Snake has a tall hurt box, but also at the worst, it won't be that much of a punish given the percent. I, and an up smash air shield catches AC, try and press a button, scoops him up, sends him up. And it's going to be Charlie up in this set right now. Yeah. And it is side B that is one of like Wolf's fastest recovery options compared to up B. Just because it's known as the Wolf Flash and up B takes some time to start 
So Charlie Look knows. That was sick. No. Oh no. Okay. I if, wish that, that, that was clean. I if you actually caught that, that, if you actually caught that, I kind of want to see it connect though. I'm telling you, man. Charlie uses that reflector <laughs> as 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 basically. It's crazy. That was like the hidden wolf tech with reflector. Being able to use it as a combo extended oh, No. You tech. gotta attack that AC. Yeah. All right, gonna be a run it back sign. AC does have pockets still. Uh, he could actually go Meta Knight. I don't see a I think. I think he's going to stick to Snake. But I that is a character. Snake he is can. still solid. He can yeah. still do this. I was right. I, 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 I was wrong. So the reason why is just the edge guarding opportunities, but also the ability to ladder wolf. That's not enough to explain how the matchup will work. But it's the fact that you can start to throw in Charlie in spaces he would normally feel comfortable. Dominantly in the air and then also the off stage where Charlie has felt really comfortable using Wolf Flash. Normally not a good option, but the way that Charlie understands the interaction between Snake in that situation, it just goes to show why Charlie would go for Wolf Flash and why it was a better option over Wolf Flyer. Alright, and AC going, you know, at least trying to get some opening, but Charlie just giving him nothing. Reads oh. the double jump with the back air. Doesn't, I don't think he got the, like, tip of it to kill. No, no, but that was still also good DI from AC. And he messed oh up my God. There. What a read on the roll, too. Alright, AC running out of options here. He's down a stock. Charlie's still fresh off the 16%. You can see a lot of these empty hops here from Charlie, but AC will take the time to call that out, saying, I'm not going to let you empty hop in the air for free. There will be a punish, but Charlie is still moving in with such dominance. There is that dash attack. AC is able to use that side special to make the recovery. Just because if Charlie tries to go for an air, he might end up getting into a stage check situation. This is not going to be a shuttle loop, but it does give AC some percent and some breathing space. I, and I like that AC knows better than to go for that shuttle loop. I would have gone for it. I would have got punished for it because it wasn't connected. Mm -hmm. But AC saw the position he was in, recognized he had no more to go off of, and just reset. And the thing about AC understanding how shuttle loop works, also making Meta Knight in Smash 4, and even in Brawl at times, is just the fact that it is a high risk, high reward, more so in this game. It is one of those things that can end the combo so well for you, but if it is messed up, you are going to eat an incredibly fat punish. And you can even lose your stock for it. Alright, AC taking his time, using all those Meta Knight jumps to kind of get right back in the stage. That was good. Yeah, that will work. That'll work out there. But you I'm can see sure. it's only after one up air. Now I, mean, I don't think that was true, but maybe Charlie threw out like a nair and the sword beat it. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure, but I don't think I think AC did that like on reaction to something Charlie did, or maybe just didn't do by not pressing a button. All right, AC 136 here. I love watching Charlie dash attack in this matchup because he looks like he's just like kicking a football or something. <laughs> Or like a soccer ball. A big ball. old soccer ball with yeah. wings just and a sword. It. <laughs> it just looks so right, you know, just punting the ball. <laughs> it is a stadium, funny enough. Yep. Uh, up to, uh, she wants to say, I know you play Snake, but how do you how do you feel about an up tilt kill? Yeah. And that's good, too, because one of Meta Knight's auto shield options aren't that great. So he knows the one thing Meta Knight might actually go for is to jump out of shield, and Charlie's able to call that out. Okay, good for Charlie. He's looking for the drift just to get back on the stage and not burning a jump. Or wasting an air dodge. <laughs> Charlie just no fear. Goes for that side. He calls out AC's jump. Oh. AC does find the tech this time. We saw that, that mm -hmm. end game number two. Oh, you could tell AC wanted to wait at that last second for Charlie to make the recovery. But unfortunately, Wolf Flash does get Charlie back on the stage. But for AC to use all those jumps and try to find a way safely to the ledge, he knows Charlie is hunting no... Confirm off the back air one. But AC looking for an opportunity here off the stage. Oh, that was rough. I do like that option though, just because of like the way that Charlie could have gotten up. Going for something like, yeah, exactly. Going for a mock tornado was a great uh, was a great choice. And is that F talk gonna be it? it yeah. is Charlie with a 3 0 punches ticket to top three, mm -hmm. where he will be doing battle with ketchup. Yeah. And of course, at worst case.